Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shovel Knight. So last time we took on the Tower of Fate entrance. Today we're going to ascend the Tower of Fate in fight probably a boss rush. Assuming this follows the uh, Mega Man format. Of course. Well, that, that was a very unceremonious immediate death. Let's uh, give it another go. So okay, again only four checkpoints. So it looks like a repeat of last time, which, well, you'd think that place would be a little shorter, but nope. Oh, wow. Okay, so again, you can you can control Shovel Knight's jump with your... Uh, the height of your Shovel Knight's jump with your jump button. And again, it's by, uh, probably by how long you hold it down. The only catch is, well, it's uh, tricky, especially when you're... Well... <laughs> Those little fishies actually helped me out there, but, uh... Jeez. Oh, I'm sure there's some sort of secret up there, but uh, there's no way we could possibly... No, nope, we're stuck down here. Well, uh, attack? Okay. Do want a repeat of that one stage where I couldn't quite figure out how to attack. Or I couldn't, I didn't realize that attacking after falling cancels the pogo. Aha! Oh no! Oh, wow, okay. So that's kind of interesting. So spikes, you can actually damage boost over. But when you get to lava, you uh, just straight up die. There's no exceptions, no mistakes. Which, uh, okay. So it doesn't seem like there's any sort of grand... Oh, jeez. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's any sort of grand play or plan or anything happening here that's tricky. It's just kind of... Here's, here's the platforming. Get to it. Get to it, Shovel Knight, and, uh, well, oh, now you learn to, uh, dodge. Well, let's just kind of zone out and play the game. I mean, you might ask what, uh, have we been doing before? Interesting. There's, there's nothing here. Well, I guess trying to compensate for the secret you've already lost is not necessarily the, uh, best strategy. So, okay, these, these green blobs, yeah, you can already see it happening. If they get hit with uh, fire, then they turn fiery, and that means they are now immune to pogos, which makes your life miserable. Let's uh, cut until we're right back there again. Alright, we're back in the slime room, making a real mess of things. Alright, so we're back in the slime room. Let's uh, take this nice and slow. Leave the uh, speeding to the speedrunners. Interesting. Okay. Seems nice. I mean, this room is not, like, so bad. Well, actually, I don't even know where I'm headed. Okay. Looks like I'm just headed here. This room is all sort of about restraint. Oh, <laughs> that's also about restraint, but uh, I've learned how to handle that trick before. And, okay. Because apparently this gimmick on its own wasn't tough enough that, uh, now you gotta add more stuff to it. But that's fine. Alright, so we're back in the fire poop and dragon room. And, uh, uh, and we're back in the underworld. Well, the checkpoint's right here, so there's really no need to cut. Although, I already did. Assume I did. Again, that's all in the future. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So if you charge attack, your uh, dragon buddy does not actually go any further. Thankfully, this is also a pretty nice weapon. Oh, and it's a nice distraction, too. Oh, I see. So you do actually have to deal with those enemies. That's kind of interesting, though, how they design the enemies and their attacks. So you actually do have to deal with them at, like, these points in time. You can't just kind of ignore them like you could in, I don't know, let's say like a Mario game or something. Where like the Koopa's kind of hanging around, they're, they're more there to catch you unawares than to uh, knock off your life. Well then again, well it's kind of interesting now that I think about it comparing like the Mario mentality on enemies to uh, the Shovel Knight slash Mega Man mentality on enemies. Wow, th that got very exciting very quickly. Uh, so Mario mentality, it's like enemies kill you. And it's like, that's it. Just end of story. No exceptions. Oh, wow, okay. That was pretty tight timing. But then you've got, like, Mega Man, where 
you've got a health bar, and so enemies are more of like a constant annoyance. Speaking of constant annoyances, gosh, I hate those deaths. I do like this music though, it, it's very kind of intense. Well, it actually sounds like the uh, Pokemon trading card game like battle theme. But uh, it, it does kind of feel very tense, like it's this is your final battle. And you really are working your way towards it. Now, of course, I'm not naive enough to think that this stage will be the final stage. Uh, yeah, oh. Interesting. I think I know how to cheese it, though, so. Okay, that was surprisingly tight timing for something that ultimately worked out. And I see. So going up high was kind of an illusion. Like, you don't really have to go high until the very end. That uh, propeller guy at the end, though, that, that was a nice touch. Well, we finally got to the part of the game where it's, like, hard enough. It's like, you gotta make it, like, obstacle by obstacle. And you can't really look ahead. You can't really improv as you go. You just gotta focus and do it one by one. Well, that's pretty simple. And I got my money back. Propel her this, sucker. Oh, come on. Don't propel her this. Okay. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And then we just pop the fire, and okay. Well, this is the easiest game of Flappy Bird I've ever played. Oh, come on. Can I charge up by uh, bouncing off of the... Oh, I can. That seems almost cheating, but I, I mean, I guess you... I have the special powers for a reason. It stands the reason that you should, in theory, be able to use them. And Terra Firma! Never been gladder. Although, I, man, that'd be really fun if that last one was a uh, falling platform. Okay. This seems a lot easier than uh, being on the platform, but no. They found a way. Oh, it's an auto scroll. Well, okay. That's. Interesting. Jeez. Although it doesn't feel the same without the uh, Mario Castle music going on in the background, but... Oh, that music note. So tempting. And yet, so clearly a trap. Oh, golly gee. Oh, okay. Well. And, alright. That's... We're getting somewhere. Okay. No dice today. Okay. Uh, oh, the rats. They explode. That could uh, cause things to get very interesting very quickly. So, I'm going to ignore them. In a fantastic display of restraint, I will ignore the rats. I realize how unprecedented that must sound, but... Well, not every trap has to be equally effective against me. Oh, secret item. Uh, is a chicken or is it a bomb? That would be pretty cruel if it was a bomb. Oh, come on, please be a checkpoint. This stage is hard enough without it. Well, this looks very suspicious. Okay, that's about as expected. And this, also a chicken. Double chicken. Final checkpoint. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm not surprised in the least. I'm only surprised that it didn't come first. Oh, how much you want to bet that I was supposed to ration out that food? Well, that's okay. I've been reviewing the footage, and I think I know how to beat Polar Knight. Yeah. It's all about the uh, pogoing off of the ice balls to dodge the damage. And then he'll mess up the stage, but that's fine. Although, stop doing that, please. Oh, gosh. All right, now let's see how this boss battle actually works. Uh, okay. Do you get more life? I see. 
Uh, I'm assuming you don't use those, but let's find out. Oh, Tinker Knight. Okay, so I guess it's random who you start with, which is interesting. Come on. Man, the hardest thing about Tinker Knight is, is hitting the poor guy. Although, I know, I know, this is only the fun part. But I mean, hey, if you can't enjoy beating up on someone weaker than you, then, uh... Oh, come on. He's learned some new tricks. Oh, don't tell me I have to fight bolts forms of him in a boss rush. Do they at least give me help? I mean, they're eating supper. The least they could do is feed me. Alright, let's... Honestly, there's not terribly much to say. How's the weather where you live? Oh, it's Tinker Knight again. I remember you. You were one of the few bosses that I felt like I had a pretty good grasp on the strategy they're on. Uh, let's see. Anything different? Not really. I guess con contextually it's different in that there's like a whole bunch of them at once. Oh, come on. Okay, this is getting annoying. Uh, all the attacks are sort of on a cycle, so it just kind of... There's... It's all about timing. You need to get, like, the right timing, and then... He'll be pretty darn easy. But until you get that, then you get hit by everything. It's kind of like stoplights in real life. Like, if you can dodge one of them, then you're pretty much home free. But if you, if you get hit by one, then you're probably gonna hit by another and another, and you get hit by a whole ton in a row. Okay, wow. Uh, I really hope that there's an ability to beat this game even if you're kind of a, a scrub and only won through attrition against them the first time around. I'm sure there is, but I'm sure you, you won't fight each one on a fair fight. Well, if this were Tinker Knight stage, I would have beat him. Uh, let me guess. It's an apple. Either way- oh, okay. Maybe the uh, apple, just an apple, is saved for the uh, hard person. Uh, it's kind of interesting what uh, boss order we're given here. Uh, I'm not really sure. Well, you'd think it would kind of be um, like how it was in the game itself. Like, sure, you fought the bosses in a random order necess necessarily, but... Uh, it wasn't always the same random order. Like, well, okay, you were given everything in waves. And so you fought them in waves. And so you fought the first wave, and then the second wave, and then after a while, the next wave. Oh, okay, that was a little bit easier than expected. Do I get another chicken? Oh yeah, baby. Let's chicken this whole way through. Oh, and I even get fire. Oh, that's right, fireballs. Plague Knight, uh, you're a bit harder without your uh, your uh, blocks, so I can get the air advantage and poke of you above. But oh, as if on cue. Thanks, Plague Knight. You got my back. You're a real pal. Now, uh, if you hold still, that would be great. Oh, I see. He throws the projectiles in the air because he knows you're gonna jump into him to attack him. Touché. You know what? Let's get some projectile action of my own against this guy. Uh, okay. Man, seeing Spectre Knight in the background is just wigging me out. I don't like it. He's too scary. Okay, so I'm beating him in life. Not beating him in skill, but I'm beating him in life at least. Okay, not so bad. Honestly, as far as boss rushes go, this is fairly generous. Although, you do have to at least kind of know what you're doing. And I'm pretty sure there's a hard mode where uh, it's, it's, you know, harder. Actually, I kind of wonder what the uh, Hall of Challenges is then. Oh wow, Boss Knight. King Knight looks like he's uh, picked up some new moves. Or he's the same old scrubbies he was before. Uh, that's new. Dangerous confetti. That's... I... 
I've seen it all now. Confetti is an attack. That's... Makes sense, I guess? Oh, ouch. Well, what happened to the good old days when you just stood still and let me pogo you all day? Okay, that's half the way through. And Mole Knight. If I remember correctly, this was just Pogo Central. So, uh, Mole Knight, if you would do the honors of standing still. Oh, sweet, it does play his music. Well, it's kind of corrupted, so it's not as fun as it was in the, uh, level. Oh, he's already on this nonsense. Oh, I dodged all of that. I'm kind of impressed. Oh, crap. Oh, those are instant kills, huh? Good thing I'm uh, awake. Jeez. Oh, come on. No, no fair being invincible. Okay. Nothing doing. Come on. Oh, if you would just still be still and hand over your chicken so I can go on to the next boss. Okay. All right. Once again, Pogo wins all. Oh, Propeller Knight. I remember him being easy peasy. Oh, jeez. I mean, I'm not entirely being facetious. He does lend himself very well to uh, being pogoed, but... Good golly. Does he try? Does he try? Alright. Bombs. But, I mean, I learned how to deal with those in, like, stage one, so... Oh, okay. And uh, two more to go. Oh, let me get... Oh, okay. I thought Spectre Knight would be the grand finale. You know what would be really cool? If this game kept track of, like, who was your hardest boss and then kind of made that person the final one you fought. For all I know, the game could be doing that. Uh, I don't know, though. I'm pretty sure I did die the most on Spectre Knight. But... The bright side of dying to him the most means I know him best now. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm the best against him, but I do know him the best. We're, like, most casually acquainted. Oh, this music. So nostalgic. And then... Oh, yeah. I forgot. He does that. But, uh, guess who learned more distance attacks, pal? Uh, I guess him really would be the... And that would have been really dramatic if my last projectile attack hit him. It didn't. But, uh, okay. So now we get to fight Mole Knight with no magic. But we do get a chicken. Oh, I wonder if I could use Pro Tactics and, uh, save the chicken for later. But, uh... Oh, wow. So if you, uh, luck out and get the Mole Knight upper tier lottery, then, uh, you can just have fun all day. This guy, uh, you've got one huge weakness, and it's called your face. Oh, come on. Shovel Knight only fell for that trick, like, what, three times? Once? And... okay. Now, uh, let me guess. Shield Knight is the next boss? Maybe, maybe those mini-bosses? Oh, what is happening here? Oh, it is in the order you fought them. <laughs> That's kind of silly. I like that. Nice touch. Uh, would I? Would I? Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay, so how do I 
Oh, okay, okay. I thought that would accidentally knock him down, and it's like, that would be a little too much, but... Oh, wow. Duh. Wait, what did, what did, what did you say? No amount of, uh, wealth is worth that amount? Oh, okay. Well, all it takes is the amount, uh, the next, the amount of money I need for the next health power-up. I still join you. What the heck? All right, well, if you enjoyed me bumbling and stumbling through all those boss fights the first time around, I bet it was twice as thrilling the second time around. Anyway, next time, just like I assumed, Tower of Fate, question, 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 question mark, question, 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 question mark. Until then, see you guys, ah, just kidding. Those, those bosses were kind of, oh, no, no co-ops. Those bosses were kind of underwhelming anyway. So... Let's see what's in it for the final level. It wouldn't be worth it if it wasn't like a crazy gauntlet, would it? Uh, hmm. Is this one of those levels that seems like it's a level, but it's actually just a uh, glorified boss? Oh, ah, channeling a little Zelda in here. These developers are men of culture, I see. Okay, well, it's less fun without the shield, but I guess... A shovel is like a shield on a stick, right? Whoa! One checkpoint. And you can't even break it. Yeah, I noticed the small little details like that. Not that I was thinking of ever breaking a checkpoint ever again, but, uh... Okay. Nope. No skipping right to the end. Shovel Knight plays by the rules. Even when the rules are very, very obviously stacked against it. Why does Shovel Knight even play by these rules? I guess, yeah, Shield Knight. That's, that's probably it. Probably it. Oh, oh, good god. That is spooky. It's actually pretty easy to deal with. Like I said, it's, it's the hardest puzzle in the game, but I think I'm up to it. Alright, welcome back to the Descent into Poverty. Well, I feel like this level's gimmick, or I mean solution, is to be as slow as possible. I feel like I've said that a lot, and yet it always works against me. Well, okay, it's just leaps of faith at this point. Oh man, do you remember that leap of faith in Pokemon? That was scary. Well, maybe not really, when all the guides tell you to uh, make the leap of faith. It's less scary then, when uh, you have faith in it. But, uh... Okay, I just know this is gonna be a trap. You can't bait me into going right. I'm too smart for that. I mean, I'm dumb enough to fall into all your other traps the first time, but I'm not gonna fall into this trap. I swear it. My name isn't Silver Knight. Oh. Well, I'll be darned. It was safe the whole way through. Okay, what's the catch? The catch is there's a huge boss coming up next. You know what? Let's throw caution to the wind. Alright, you thought those eight bosses weren't enough. Here's a ninth boss! Y you know, excluding all those mini-bosses. It's a beautiful night! Ha <laughs> ha! I don't think that was supposed to be a pun. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Enchantress is Shield Knight. I mean... I should say I'm shocked, but like, frankly, where did Shield Knight go? It's like there weren't a lot of places for her to be. So, uh, I guess this makes sense. Although I am kind of impressed that Shovel Knight didn't, uh, join Shield Knight. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure the ground... Yeah, as I feared, the ground is entirely destructible. Worst thing ever for a Pogo Master like myself. Okay. Oh, jeez. I am just digging my own hole. Digging my own grave here. Ah. It's funny because I'm Shovel Knight! That's actually the second... Oh, ouch. Are they coming back? Please, please let them come back. Okay. That's nice. It's actually the only the second uh, shoveling pun I've made. Or digging pun. 
Yikes. Uh, construction has never been so dangerous. Speaking of construction, why... Why don't you get back up here? Oh wow, she makes cries like, uh... The Pokemon cries from Pokemon Puzzle League. There's a Game Boy, of course. Oh jeez. Why are you not... Well, let's get dangerous. Even that wasn't enough. Oh, wow. I'm so poor I only dropped one bag of gold. So just in case if you're wondering if the game will let you go broke, it might but it'll take a while. Not a uh, terribly threatening attack if you can just dodge it by uh, jumping. And she got me. And she got me. It's not so much a war of attrition as, like, whack-a-mole. Except I'm the mole. You know what? Since she doesn't care about my hit points, neither should I. I'm just gonna go for it. Just go for her like crazy. I realize I should uh, save some fireballs for her second form, but I'll just assume they'll give me some healing items. Assumption of the century, right? Come on, one good hit, one good hit. You have not yet fought my final form! Or maybe they're going to pull the thing where, hey, I've been practicing for this moment my entire life. Well, hey, don't judge me, Shield Knight. Had to get some gold. You caught me. <laughs> I never let go of you. That's interesting. Yeah, you know what? I, I fought a lot of bass bosses. You handle this one, Shield Knight. You handle this one. Oh, I did get a chicken. Metaphorically speaking. Oh, I get it. Shield Knight shields you. Why do you keep moving around, Shield Knight? What are you doing? Shield Knight... Oh, I see what's happening here. No wonder they were such a pro combination. Oh, Shield Knight. Oh, you don't direct her, she directs herself. Shield Knight is her own woman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thanks, Shield Knight. Uh, I don't like hitting me off at an oblique angle, but that's cool too. Uh, yeah, wishful thinking, Shield Knight. Wishful thinking. What is up with her? Okay, stick with you like that. You are making it very hard very hard for you to help me, you know that? Okay. And, uh... Nothing I haven't seen in a Metal Slug boss before. But, uh, okay. That was about when, uh... Shield Knight, come on! Alright, now I just have to not die. And then... But that was your final mistake. Oh. And Shield Knight, you're so good at jumping between those platforms. You're, like, way better than I ever could be. Yeah, 
Ouch. Oh! And I should have known. I was so close to victory. And then... I died. At least I'm not poor yet. Oh, I was... I thought she was gonna go left. And I was ready. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, nice. Shield Knight, we are on the same frequency wavelength. And you should like to move around, Shield Knight. Oh, okay. I'll get that timing, though. I'll get that fourth hit. Just you watch. To be fair, you were way far away from me, Shield Knight. Nothing I could have done. Ouch. Ho-ho, fourth hit. This boss is going down sooner than later. Oh, wow. Looking at my health, I'm uh, going down sooner than later. Oh, never mind. Don't even have to worry about that. Oh wow, already half dead. Not me, the boss this time. Oh, come on. Get in, all right. Not bad. Fortunately, this boss is almost guaranteed to have two phases. Wind attack is not so bad. Oh, okay. It ain't moi. Shield Knight! Oh crap, that was one of my few chances to hit her. But, in your greed, you forsook life. Oh, okay, well... Oh my gosh, you don't think we're gonna have a timed escape level like Metroid. Oh, it's Black Knight! That's the 10th Knight? No, the 11th Knight. Well, mission all clear. Well, the Rifle King. Oh, I see King Knight is the, is the Knight to the King. Oh, Trooper Pond. I never went there, actually. Kind of got thrown off by the weird guy who told me all about these Trooples like it was some sort of crazy religion. Probably because it was. Oh yes, yeah, Spectre Knight. I'm sure he's real happy. That stupid Spectre. Oh, it's the Swamp. I was gonna talk to her to see how many lives I lost. Oh, Iron Whale, aka Atlantis. Wait, wait, are they stealing from him? Oh, I see. They are reclaiming it. Man, the treasure I was supposed to give me all that treasure when I killed him. Good old Plague Knight. Always a rave party at his place. And then Mole Knight. I'm pretty sure nothing's changed here, because why would you go to a fiery volcano? Oh, what are they doing there? 
I kind of like how some of the knights are like kind of corrupt and some of the knights are like decent people and it's like what what determines this? Oh the wandering travelers. Well they didn't really wander they mostly just hung out in the final level making my life miserable. Oh I see those are the wandering travelers who wandered around making my life miserable. Ah, uh, Propeller Knight. The best sunset in the game. Unfortunately, the most annoying pits in the game. Oh hey, it's all those beggars from the clothing store. Glad they found a good home. And uh, Tinker Knight. He's up to his tinkering things. Armor Town moved to Tinker Knightsville. Which makes sense. Oh, the fast kid, he got a little faster. Not fast, but faster. Polar Knight. Hard boss battle. Yeah, somebody call him Superman, because he's in his Cave of Solitude. Well, Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, what about the most important knight? Black Knight. Indoor Shovel Knight. Oh, so that's how Shuffle Knight gets to the campsite each time. Wait, does that mean he just kind of passes out every boss battle? I mean, to be fair, that's kind of what I do, so I guess that makes sense. Yep. Feat accomplished. Victory. I gotta say, victory was sweet. All in all, well, it was surprising how easy Shovel Knight was in the beginning, because I feel like that's one of those things that those uh, NES platforming games do. They kind of hit you right in the face right in the very beginning, but Shovel Knight kind of helps you build into it. I mean, obviously the first level is going to be easy no matter what, no matter what game you are, but even the second and third levels were frankly not so bad. I mean, it died every now and then. Well, okay, Spectre Knight was kind of a pain. I think, well, okay, so again, difficulty is not so much an absolute thing, it's always sort of a relative thing. It's like, it's, it's how difficult it is relative to your skill, and that's the difficulty you perceive. Now, I suppose there is sort of an absolute sense of difficulty, but it's very hard to perceive that. Instead, it's far easier to perceive, like, relative difficulty. And I'll say that this game did a very good job of keeping the relative difficulty kind of constant. Like... Yeah, each, each stage had their gimmicks, but the gimmicks did kind of get a little progressively hard. Now, it's a little bit hard to sort gimmicks like that in terms of difficulty, because again, difficulty depends on different people. Different people find different things difficult. For example, like for me, it's like I have no patience, so I find like those timing, auto scrollery sort of things just like incredibly difficult, almost an affront on my like existence. That's, that stuff is terrible. But to other people, maybe they just love taking things slow, and that's like their, that's like their fun time. And their fun time is when they have to go, or their, their uh, kryptonite is when they have to go through a level very quickly, or they have to make very quick movements. But uh, and then the bosses. Well, it's kind of interesting because Shovel Knight has a very limited move pool, and all of them basically work against the bosses. So, it's kind of interesting. Whoa, 42 minutes! That's like two episodes for me, and I had to cut out the deaths. Not, not all of them, I show you some of them, but like, the deaths on the way to the deaths. It's like, maybe I cut those out a little. Dang. Digging log. Okay, good. Now I don't have to uh, ask Granny Swamp. Well, let's let's see how I did. One death in the plains. Accidental. Well, okay. I was checking for secrets, alright? That's my excuse. Oh, total times. Oh, so there's no lying here. Let's see. Lost City. Pretty bad. Flying Machine. Tower of Fate Entrance. Tower of Fate Ascent. Oh, weird. It felt like I was dying all the time in the towers, but I really only died as many times as I died in like some of the harder platforming stages. Although I did die a lot in some of those platforming stages. 439, total item completion 48%. That's that's actually pretty good for like basically not going out of my way to collect items. 
And in fact, e most of the items I came across I like didn't buy because I straight up did not have enough money. Dang. Well, thank you for playing. Thanks for making this game. I mean, this this has been awesome. I kind of wish there were more games like this made every day. Goosebumps. I've got goosebumps from that. The end. Well, we had a great time. We had some fun. And uh, I suppose that's the end. I mean, I'm sure if there are any uh, noticeable extra stages or significant things I missed, then maybe I'll make a quick wrap up episode to talk about those. But, uh,. It looks like, our, for the most part, our Shovel Knight Let's Play is over. I'd like to think we had a good time. But of course, the Ashkabat Cat channel is not over. If you made it to the end, well, frankly, maybe you should like a whole bunch of my videos. Maybe you should even consider subscribing if you haven't already. And of course, we've got daily meme or daily arcade Let's Plays of just random arcade games, just, just to see what it's like. And of course, there will always be more Let's Plays. But they won't be Shovel Knight. Well, they might. Uh. Ooh, a new quest awaits. Oh, new game plus. I wonder what that could be. Oh, I unlocked Challenge of Salon mode. Wow, too many things to keep track of. Remember when I said uh, the Shovel Knight Let's Play was over? Nope, just kidding. Shovel Knight Let's Play just tripled. Plus two, there's like the Spectre Knight mode, the Plague Knight mode, the King Knight mode. Never mind. Shovel Knight is all eternal. It is everlasting. This game will go on forever and ever, and I'll be playing this game for the rest of time on my channel. I'm sort of kidding, but I'm pretty sure there will be more Shovel Knight stuff. But until then, this cat's gotta scatter.